Now, in the UK, there is no end to problems for the Conservatives. The latest, the chairman of the Conservative Party, Nadim Zahawi, faces tax avoidance allegations, putting his political career in the dock. Opposition parties are raising questions on his tax payments. The alleged tax evasion relates to Zahawi's controversial multi-million pound shareholding in the polling company YouGov. Zahawi has come under fire over claims that he tried to avoid tax payments. On Saturday, Zahawi came out with a carefully worded statement saying an error in his tax affairs is accepted by HM Revenue and Customs and as having been careless and not deliberate. Zahawi paid the tax which he owed as well as a 30% penalty with a total settlement amounting to $5.2 million. UK's opposition Labour Party is demanding that UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak explains if he knew about this issue before he appointed Zahawi to his cabinet. Other Tory leaders, including Foreign Secretary James Cleverly, were seen dodging the questions related to the Tory chair. Labour leaders are calling this issue corrosive to public trust, as a Chancellor who is entrusted to ask the public to pay their taxes failed to do so himself. Remember, on taking over as Prime Minister last year, Rishi Sunak had taken responsibility to restore integrity and professionalism after the scandals under Boris Johnson and the economic chaos of Liz Truss. But scandals like this continue to cast a cloud over a big gap between what Sunak promised and what's playing out. Far from soft on crime, I ran the Crown prosecution's focused on. Shall we focus on... Our correspondent Alex Aizat is now joining us live from London for more on this. Hi, Alex. Nadim Zahawi is said to be determined to stay on as Conservative Party chairman amid calls for his resignation after details of a multi-million pound tax dispute emerged. Will he survive this one? It's looking likely at the moment. The, um, his uh, Conservative member friends have come forward and said that he should stay on but there is a lot of questions around exactly what happened and also there is still another offshore company that's being looked into at the moment that's owned by his father to find out exactly how much he is involved in that and how much the tax is uh, it's offshore so it was in Guernsey so that's also something that now people are looking into once there is a concern with any any of the government members then obviously everyone's going to look at the forensically at the the accounts that are going forward. So he did put out this statement, but we do understand that it was actually back in September when the fine was given and, and he paid off, so when he was in the term as Chancellor. So this is all late news, and a lot of people are asking, why is it coming out now, and how come it's taking so long to come forward and say that there was a mistake and put his hands up? So it could well be the start of something else to come in the future, but Rishi Sunak really needs to make a stand here and needs to say something on um, Nadim Zahawi's behalf, because the moment he seems to be faltering as being a strong leader and we keep seeing these like mini mistakes over and over again we saw that the seat belt issue he got fined by the police for not wearing a seat belt in the back seat we've obviously had a lot of his uh, own party come forward and make mini complaints as well they're vocal on twitter and they're vocal on social media so richard Sunak really does need to make a stand to try and bring the party together because that was what was all the problem when Boris Johnson was out and Liz Trust came in and now Rishi Sunak. It does seem like the whole party is still not really together and they need to be if they're going to be moving forward and bring that trust and integrity that he promised to the UK. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.